Hey, what's up, guys? Up and in, gonna play some strawberry shortcake today. Hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't realized yet, I do have a new microphone. Um, people have been uh, inquiring about a, kind of a weird sound in the background. I know I've heard it myself, but I've had this thing for a bit. It's a snowball um, recording device, and hopefully, I don't sound too clear or whatever. I'm, I'm one of those guys now that has a recording, you know, a sound device I can talk into now. So, yeah, I got ones here. Um, hopefully, it works well. You guys enjoy it. Um, that being said, we're going to hop in with some strawberry shortcake today. Give a shout out to Jack Kitchen, who's uh, basically the creator of this deck and has been doing very well with it for years. Um, the deck really hasn't changed much over the course of over 10 years, with the exception of some new cards like Karn and Engineer. But um, we'll go over it lightly, I guess. Enlightened Tutor, uh, Method Swan Candidate, LED, and Imperial Recruiter. Uh, some of the powerful cards that stand out in Shortcake uh, that differ from Mono Red for the most part. Um, LED is a great card. It can be. Picked off from Urza Saga, um, Enlightened Tutor also gets combo pieces, can get Blood Moon, can get, um, you know, Ensnaring Bridge, whatever it is. Um, Imperial Recruiter gets painted to hand. There's seven blasts in this deck. There's three Simeon Spirit guys. We have a lot of fast mana. Um, three Grindstone, four Painter. Never forget that, uh, now don't ever underestimate the point of this deck is to tap Grindstones. A lot of people are forgetting that because... Um, as good as some of these decks are becoming because of mid-range things and Fable the Mirror Breaker. We joke around all the time, Jack and I, about Fable and how I'm a Fable kid. and Because uh, the outlook, a lot of times the old school outlook is just kind of like um, playing a certain way. This deck wants to tap grindstones. It wants to be faster. It wants to it wants to win by tapping you know the combo. Um, so three grindstone, four paint that makes sense. Anything in between. Uh, of course, you, you don't have Fury in this deck. You don't have Fable to smooth out your draws. Um, we talk about it. it's a sad, it's sad face when you go all in your combo and you have to rebuild and you're drawing Lotus Petals, you're drawing, you know, cards that just don't really do it for some people because they need something else like a fucking Goblin Bombardier or something to win the game. But this deck here, and, and it goes to show you that someone that wants to play it and can play well, can continually top eight big events like he's done in the past and in the, in, in the present. So I got a lot of respect for Jack and I'll say what's up. I love him. And uh, I know a lot of you guys do too. A lot of you guys in the Painted Discord, we're all good friends, and um, and we're all uh, you know everybody everybody learns together. So uh, this is a deck I've wanted to do for a little bit now, and I hopefully I can I can you know show its strength. Um, sideboard here, I get some fetch lands down the bottom. You can't see yet, um, but this is basically his la his latest iteration. Uh, two Wood of Four Hills down low here. We have one Great Furnace. We have you know, the other fetch lands. Like I said, three grindstone, four painter, seven blast, three and three. Goblin Creator Maker is a great card. Can get, you, there's no lightning bolt main deck. You guys get off to fucking see that. It's like no lightning bolt, no fury, no bullshit. Um, you know, Creator Maker is going to hit that, you know, collector roof that matters or a chalice. Uh, Karn as well. Karn's a lot of your angle here. Um, Karn can be used as a pivot piece to, uh, to deter attacks into a Karn. Um, free spells like Tormod's Crypt is phenomenal. Um, what was this kid doing? I forget. I, I don't know if I can keep this hand though. I mean, it's just LED means there's a saga here. It's a one lander with a Blood Moon's mind as well just mullet. I mean, yeah, it looks good, but I have two uncastable cards. This means LED to me nowadays. Like, when you're playing Shortcake, it's like, yeah, you start with Saga a lot because you just have that angle. Fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, we'll try this. Um, I'll go here and here, right? It's not a bad hand, considering. Um, but see what's up. I think this can this chamomile tea might be fine. Now I might I could even start with a goblin welder here and not worry. if it's like a doomsday deck or a storm deck and get discarded and be okay with that. Um, I even have a I even have a hidden blast if I need it. Um, so I I'll start with Great Furnace if I can if my computer will let me. Okay, thank you. And I'll start with Goblin Welder. Uh, discard spell could mean um, see what kind of deck this is if it's a troll deck or whatever. You tap blue, right? Oh, you tap in black. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I pay for it, right? There's no reason why I shouldn't. So, I mean, another uh, blue-black reanimated deck, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna withhold my, my, uh, my opinions because 
um, it deters from the debt from the from the video. But this deck is all <coughs> excuse me all over the place. It's just um, you know it's all over the place. So I guess you find he's looking for a land drop, getting a little greedy for the reanimate or whatever he has. I don't even know. Animate dead. So I had that Soul Guide Lantern turn one. I could have played that off first of Saga, but I had no days. I had no days mana, so it would have been countered. And then Wasteland. This deck does play Wasteland, which is kind of unfortunate. So, um, Brainstorm locked. So I guess even with a... Um, so I have a choice here. I could either you know, hold up a Red Blast. He did not find a land drop, which is kind of cool. Um, which means he, you know... I mean, I, either I'm going to hold up Blast or I'm going to hold up Candice here. He has something in the in the yard. I want to say, too, if you guys are playing against this deck, you always want to counter the Entombs more or less than you want to do the Reanimates. I think they have more Reanimates main deck than they do have ability to put cards in their graveyard. So, um, so he brainstorms. He didn't find a land drop. He has Animate Dead. He has Reanimate. So it's either I hold up Red Blast here or I play out Candice. And I would just imagine that Candice is good here. So, <gasps> I can't do that. And if I get days, if I get days or Force of World or whatever, I think it's still good enough to get this online here. So <laughs> he's got four cards. See what's up, man. This card's very powerful. A lot of people don't understand because they want to play with other stuff. Um, no reason not to attack here, correct? They want to play with. Well, so if he does get an Arcana play, I'll just attack him for one. I could always weld. I could always weld out the canvas for a land here, but I don't want to do that. So, um, people don't want to play with that the Swan Canis anymore. They want to play with what? You tell me. I don't know. Card's great. Okay, gonna reanimate that thing. Cool. Okay, I discard a card. I'll sacrifice this, and let's get rid of this. For the sake. Now what? You have, you have a grief and you know, discard my red elemental blast. I'm just gonna concede this game in a second because it's more about wasting my time than it is actually playing the game. You know, you got one card. What could it be? I'd have to draw a bridge there and resolve it, and I have to actually have, have a land drop, so it's kind of weak. So we're gonna take it as it goes. Um, this deck is everywhere, so I'll just take uh, I'll just take the obvious in. I guess I'm not gonna bring in Magus. I don't think. Um, so, Candice is good. Tutor is all good. I mean, they do play Wasteland, so um, I'm just going to cut cards that I don't want to see right out of the gate. Um, I like my combo things. Bridge is fine. This is good, too. Crater Maker is kind of weak. They do they do start running creatures post-board. I'll cut Blood Moon, too. I don't think it's the greatest. Um, I have two more cuts. I can go down to... Uh, let me go down to one Blast here, or five Blast here. Actually, you know what? I'm bringing two lightning bolts. I'll cut on one two there. I'll cut the two recruiters. Um, so at least me remo uh, removal for his creatures. Um, I have the sur. I mean, I think I'm kind of heavy on surgical here. I'll go down to two surgical too, and I mean blast is a good card here, but sometimes you get stuck in your hand with like the bow masters and things like that. Um, I do have at least three or four, and actually five and six because of Tormod's Crypt with Karn. Um, I think that looks fine. I have one more card to bring in, so... Uh, I want to leave... I'll bring the third Lightning Bolt. You guys think I'm crazy, but... I don't, do I really care about the creatures? Pro I mean, the Void Walkers are paying the balls. That's, that's all i got to say. So... Boarding's a different animal as far as like when do I take out Enlightened Tutor or things like that. Um, I know with Delver and stuff like that because it's a two color deck, Wasteland's a factor, so I'll stop boarding out like Enlightened Tutor or things like that. So I'll be able to play. God be with me, please. Like, give me a shot. Hands fine, keep it. Um, Fairy Macabre's a cool card. Never really played with it too much, but I think it's a good card. It doesn't get countered. It's gets through a, a thorn of amethyst and all types of cool things. And um, so. 
Because I have grindstone, it's going to resolve. I'm just going to get my red source on. I mean, I, I am actively thinking differently when I have Urza Sagas in this deck than I do with Mono Red because of the fact that um, um, this mean this means LED to me. It means like a turn two kill if I need it, or turn three, whatever it is, or just like a fast turbo kill. Um, and I think that way. So comes a grief. Okay, might want to take my Goblin Engineer here. Who knows? See how fast this, th this game goes. Now he's going to take my Macabre. Then he can take my Engineer. And go from there. And then the wild card always becomes Wasteland. Because now I'm like, oh, well, he discarded my whole hand. I'll just play it. I'll play it as a Saga. And then I get wasted. And it's like, okay. So then he untaps. And then he ponders. And then he finds another Wasteland. And then he just keeps wasting me and attacking me. And by the time all this has happened, he's already found in the tomb. In a reanimate, and that goes from there. But you'd never catch me playing this deck because it's just not the way I want to play Magic. It's a good deck and everything, but I just, you know, it doesn't excite me to discard with grief. And it's like a bunch of monkeys fucking footballs online all the time. I don't. Is it better than seeing goblins every day? I don't know. You tell me. Turbo goblins. I haven't seen that deck in a while. Comes a ponder for a wasteland. No, you don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay. And if all goes well, I can take. I can tap a mountain here. So Bowmaster, he's gonna hit. Well, at least I can get past a Bowmaster here, which is really cool too. So, um, so if I if I play the no, I just uh, no, I gotta put them on here. Comes a Bowmaster, three cards. They they kind of <clears throat> excuse me, they board down on um. Or it's a brazen borrower, it looks like, maybe. They board down on the reanimates and the entombs and stuff, I guess, post-board. I guess that's the thing. I think that's the new tech with these guys. This deck is... I'm not going to talk more about it. It's just, it's, it's just I'm having a difficulty with it for some reason. I can't explain why. I think it's the Wastelands, but... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not complaining the deck is too good by any means. It's just becoming a more of a nuisance for me. Um... I think Wasteland and Force of Will being factors here. And Grief. Grief is... I don't think Grief's an overpowered card. It's just gives it that more, much more legs, you know. Because, I mean, imagine just keeping two Entombs in your deck post-board. There's a Wasteland. A nice light Wasteland at the end of that, you know, main phase. It drives me nuts, this deck. I don't know why. It just does. Oh, look at the play. It's like when you go to, you know, it's like when the kids get zero cards in hand and then you go to fetch. Yeah. He knows about my second way, so I drew land. It's okay. I can handle myself. See if he wants a daisy uh, monkey. <clears throat> so end step and tomb means death for me, right? Um... I mean, a lot of things get me here. I, mean, I can just draw a painter. A lot of this, a lot of the things with this deck too is just be, becoming lucky. Um, you know, drawing a painter servant out of nowhere, you know, being way behind. It comes the entomb. Um, oh, you gonna scry? Cool. Another cool addition to this deck. I think of all these lands. You know, you kept seeing the graveyard. Let me go and see. Take a look at the graveyards. He comes up with five cards in hands. No wasteland. It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe he's got Force of Will in a Daze or a Brazen Borrower hanging out in that hand of his. I could get like a Soul Banger if I need to. You know, pass. That's pretty cool. Another land because I needed it. And in case you guys are wondering, it's okay because I'm going to do it anyway, so fuck him. Coming in, pal. So Bowmaster gets a little bit a little aggravating here. Um, so you got. Oh, he's got a Bowmaster. You're gonna ping and then double block. How's this gonna work? You're gonna hit my uh, my my monkey. You're gonna ping that. Okay, you're gonna double block. It's pretty cool. You got three cards now. You can kind of race me here a little bit. Cool. Yeah. You now, if I had drawn anything but three lands in a row, it'd be pretty neat. But maybe I, th I think I'm due for a painter here, but he already has the Force of Will, so it doesn't really matter here. And I guess these are all better cards than Entomb and Step, so. Okay, so looks like he's drawn a little drop. He does have that Day's Force of Will on his hand, I can almost promise you. Because magic wouldn't be complete without it. 
I need to draw action here. Or what's this going to be? Another hard cast grief. Check my hand, man. <gasps> oh. You get that force of will holding on tight. And if I draw a painter, we'll see how I play. What am I going to draw? I might just have to draw. I'm going to have to rip a soul guy lantern hand and just draw a card off of it. So we'll see what's up. Um, so I have to play around these here, it looks like. Or I can get a mock soul pulse so if I make a creature. I may have to go all in here, right? So I make a creature, get opal. I still have opal in this deck, right? That gives me daze resistance. Told you I was due for a painter, but this is the way it works out, so. It happens this way quite often with, um, I'll give me a lotus petal too, but I'll get an opal. Opalescence. Opalescence. Um. Oh, you know what? I, I fucked up. I, I get a, uh, yeah, I fucked up. I shouldn't have made a creature there. <laughs> He's at eight. Go like this. Does he have a four so well? Oh, see if I, I fucked up. I shouldn't have made a creature. I did the math wrong. See what he has. He might have a brazen borrower. <laughs> and I got opal too, like a retard. I missed it the math, my fault. That's six power you got. Wasteland two is fine. I take six, I go to two. I mean, if you waste me, I'm fucked. Take six. What do you have? I mean, you can hard cast. Okay, so we didn't do that. Okay. Uh, more than one way to skin a cat here. What do you have? Another, another, um. Coming in, buddy. So you have a, a bow master, looks like. I like that. I shouldn't have made a creature. I misdid the math there. And I should have bolted him, but I wanted to see how it all works out. Might be. I swear I've played Magic before. I'm going to bring in the uh, Surgical now, post board, and... Um, I'll cut down the two bolts here. He uh, might want to board heavier on the uh, Entomb package now because he saw that I wasn't really... I was more... We'll see here. He had one basic out, right? He had a basic island out. Fuck all this. I have two Karns. I have Engineer Can. This is fine. The draw, I don't love it, but it's fine. Um, two Lightning Bolts, three Stones, Surgicals. All right, let's rock with this. And Lightning Tour is good, too. I can, um, I can get Ensnaring Bridge if I need to in a pinch. These guys are running three. Um, i seen this guy. i seen these guys running three. three uh, kid, kid attacked. I love it. Uh, three uh, brazen borrowers <clears throat> that deck main to bounce the ley lines and all that bullshit. They used to play. They used to play powder keg, but I don't see it anymore. Oh well. He did see Fairy Macabre, actually, with that. Wasteland's a problem with this deck. It's just, um, it's unfortunate. I think if I did, if I did make a, if I didn't make a creature there and went all in and painter, and it got force of willed, I think it. I mean, I gotta go back to the mathematics of it, but if I, you know, I think it would have been fine still to play painter into like a force of will day situation like that because 
then he goes to zero cards and he has a tremendous amount of lethal to face, so it was kind of right to make a creature anyway there. But I think just thinking of um, what I have in my hand or whatever. These fucking hands, dude. I'm going to keep... I don't even know if I keep this fucking hand. It's such a weird hand. I mean, this is so bad. Against reanimator deck, I have an artifact for my goblins. I mean, these are going to get discarded from me. Um, I have land drops. It's just such a difficult hand to maul. Um, you know, and then it's like, what do, I mean, do I get like crucified for keeping a hand like this? It's just like, what do you do with this? Like, honestly, like, what am I mulling to? Like a fucking surgical? And even if I find one, he's going to discard it. So fuck it, I'm keeping it. You know what I mean? Like, my hand's going to get ripped apart anyway. So it's like, I have lands and spells. So I'll go ahead, do your worst. It's like, okay. End step and tomb, I lose to that. You know what I mean? Now, does he have grief? You know what I mean? So. See what happens here. <clears throat> Hopefully this gets dazed or whatever. No? Okay. Um, I'm going to play this out too. Okay, good. Comes in and tomb, right? Oh, good. Okay, another Misty. Look, like he's going to play a slow game, which means it's going to be a... Um, Bowmaster, right? Take some. I mean, then he has, if he goes to five, then he goes to three cards with the grief. It's like my hand's just dead, right? And I and I'll play out the tomb here. Actually, I can play, I can pay for days here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's a good draw. Um, I can still pay for days, or is it just worth tapping tomb here? I do want to get a white source out, and I'll get the wasteland out as well. Um, and uh, just. I'll just I'll get the, I'll get the uh, I'll get this going. I'll get the fluids moving. I guess you know what I mean. I mean, uh, I, I can't be perfect all the time. I can't like know exactly what's gonna happen all the time. And daze me, bro. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I you know if he has double days, computer is probably gonna do a cartwheel across the street, but uh, it's okay. Okay, what do I get? I already have Graveyard Mitigation, uh, Friction, Dragon Engine's a card, but I, I have a Bolt, yes. But I, I'm not going to go that route. I feel like um, it's either going to be a dra it's either going to be a Dragon Engine, it's going to be a Painter, Grindstone, Snaring Bridge here. I, th I think, um, I mean, given the cards and given what's going on, I'm just going to take a Snaring Bridge here, I guess, and not really care about it and pass see what's up they played dismember and fatal push right I could have got a dragon engine there but we'll see I think um sure I think that um they play like less brazen borrow bounce effects like a bridge will buy me enough time here if he doesn't find a removal spell you know, and if and if I did bin, if I did bin Dragon Engine, I'm counting on no Wasteland. I'm counting on, you know, no no discard from my Lightning Bolt. I'm counting on a lot of things here. So Bridge is the right play. Thinning my deck of Paint the Grindstone is cool, I guess. But I mean, at the same time, it's like I need two pieces, not just one piece. Bridge is good enough to fend them off for a couple turns. You know what I mean? So I guess it's fine here. We'll see. You know, if he does go to discard me, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Okay, cool. I get a shot at this. Now, he might have his own surgical here. Let's see what he puts in the graveyard, a brazen borrower. So that's a pretty cool card to put in the graveyard. <laughs> it's interesting. What's that tell me? Like, I almost want to get, I almost want to, like, see what's in his hand right now. Because I, th I think that Surgical might be one of the few cards that I give a fuck about right now. Let's see what's up. Okay, that's cool.
<laughs> so if he does have surgical, I guess that's fine. It doesn't matter if I surgical now. I mean, if I do surgical and check the brazen borrower and see that he has surgical, I mean, I won't use goblin engineer. But if I, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I'm just going to use this here. I'm just going to go for this and not give a fuck. I mean, if you want a surgical me here, you can, buddy. Okay, that's cool. And then I'll pay two life surgical here. Comes a force of will, maybe. Go to three cards with a force of will. Are you, can you beat a bridge? This land's pretty weak. See, look at this. Three brazen borrowers. I want you guys to see this that are playing out there because it's fucking crazy. They've gone to three. Ponder, Daze, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast the Ponder right out of the gate. Ponder, Daze, Animate Dead, Swamp, Wasteland. He's an Animate Deads. He's got Blue Elemental Blast. He's got no way to deal with my bridge yet. Powder Keg's in the deck as well. I did not bring in Pithy Needle, but I, if I land a Karn, it's excellent. And he has a bunch of trolls, which I don't give a fuck. So that's pretty cool. Um, I took it out of his hand. And go for it, buddy. I'll show you what's in his hand now. So, he's got five cards. These are his five cards here. He's going to hit me with a Wasteland. I'd hit my White Source if I were him. I'm just going to blast this out of the gate. I'll pay for days. He's looking for that Powder Keg. It's the only card that gets him. That gets me. Okay. Animate Dead, too. i got to watch that card. If he gets my Welder... Kind of a pain in the balls. I never really thought about this, but yeah. Um, you can hit my welder. If you see, see how smart he is. I can also bolt it to kill it. So it's another, that's another crazy thing. I have a Mox Opal in my graveyard too, so that's pretty sweet. Um, he did waste me, right? He just wasted it on me. So he's got one card unknown here. Okay. Did you draw another Bowmaster, dude? Okay, cool. Okay, he's not he's not privy to the welder effect here. Um I'm gonna play this now because I wanna be able to block these things because they'll start pulling attacks on me and I'm like, oh does he have another one? And I don't want to have to worry about blocking with Engineer this whole game, so. Um. Plus, it gets around the um, Archon, too, I guess. Okay, there's a Swamp. Okay, you're going to Entomb something. Comes an Archon. I lose three life. See, there goes my bolt. It's really bad. Yep. He still hasn't worried about doing my welders, so. Um. Oh, I meant to bolt him. I should have bolted him in response. Um. Yeah, I, it, when it goes on the stack like that, once you agree, it just... <laughs> I should have bolted him there. It's my fault. Playing a little loose today. Oh, that's good too. What can I get here? He can't attack me. You get Urza Saga here too, would be pretty cool. Avoid Walker is cool. I'm going to use the uh, Enlightened Tutor here. Uh, go white. I'm at 10 here. It's at 14. These are days too, right? Um, 
I am going to work with an Urza Saga, I think. We'll start there. Um, this, this way I can either get Grindstone on my own behalf, I can get a Soul Guide Lantern, which might matter. And when the Soul Guide Lantern hits, I'll pick off my Welder. I don't think the kid's eyeball on that thing yet, but that will, that will get me. Could have got a painter here. Could have got a bunch of shit. I probably should have, but this is high, high, uh, high reward here, I guess. Okay, no wasteland yet. Cool. I gotta remember this thing's on the board too. I boarded in how many painters? Okay, that's cool. Nice. So I can get a grindstone or a soul guide lantern. I I just don't think the kid's privy to the. Uh, the welder thing, I keep telling you guys that, but, um... I think the kid's due for a big draw step here. I mean, he can start chaining again, chaining uh, together Archons here, too, and having me sack my creature, things of that nature. But I can make it, I can make other creatures here. Um, I'm trying to think what my best bet is. Soul Guide Lantern or Grindstone here coming up. Um... I am telling you guys, Goblin Welder, a reanimate on that card will beat me. Uh, maybe he's looking at that right now. It will win. So I have to just either hope that he doesn't see that or mitigate against it. You know, if I draw a painter, um, I'm not a sandbag it for a few turns, I guess. Okay, that's good. No wastelands. I got to hurry up with my time here because I could lose on time. another saga that's excellent all right so now this gives me a good shot here I'm gonna try to pick this kid on time now actually have to start clicking fast hit my welder here in case you didn't see that pal so he's done with brazen borrowers dude right so his only out now is, is powder keg and if he draws the fucking thing it's fine, but it's gonna take him a few turns. Now I have I have two cards in my deck floating around right now, so um, I don't know if I fetch either because I've gone through so many cards in a row. I don't want to shake my deck up a little bit, so I mean I could draw. I can't even draw a card. I mean I could if I wanted to. So I mean, I'm just gonna keep taking draw steps here, and then the grindstone's gonna come out too. I can manually grind him. You know I'm drawing hot, dude. <laughs> I and thank God I got the fucking Urza Saga because. You know, if he wants to bounce that bridge, I'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage, but whatever. If I had brought Needle in, the game would be done, so. And I could start hand milling. I could do a little hand work, you know, like, you know, at the fucking in the garden. A little hand work with the grindstone, like manual style. And see what I draw here. Six cards in hand. There's no need to make another creature. Um, <clears throat> I'll just get a grindstone here, and I'll play a painter. I'll name black, I guess, and I'll hold up the grind for. I, I got to name blue actually. He might force the Willis. If he forces, I want to get it out of my hand. I'm not gonna sit there and wait for the kid to discard me. I'm not gonna do it. It sucks. I know. I gotta play it out. I'm not gonna activate. I'll wait a little bit. Just keep on fucking, you know. I'm going to have to activate because I want to be able to hand mill him anyway, but I can sit here with this card. I have one card to worry about right now. I'm going to name blue here, and we're going to pass. Because if I do draw a Pyroblast, I'm going to want a Pyroblast every removal spell here. Um, he's got 34 cards. I want to hand mill him, and I don't want to waste time doing it. And he's got seven cards. I'm just going to mill him now. I, I don't care if he kills Painter, because I, I have intentions on just hand working this kid the whole game. You know what I mean? I'll mill two cards at a time, it'll be all right. You got a removal spell? You need Fatal Push, right? You have two. How many How many Orcish Bowl Masters do you have? You know, throw three of the things at me. I mean, let's see what happens. Oh, I got him. It's easy as that. Good games, man. 
couple sloppy plays. I mean, how do I feel about it? All right, I guess. I don't feel good. But how's my mic tasting? Good? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I need some coffee. I fucking love that guy. All right, let's do another one. Bada bing, bada boom. What happened there? I, I think I um, when I made the creature, I should have made the creature anyway. I think just because of the damage. Um, and I and I also surgical him. I should have seen if he had any removal for painter, and I didn't even check. But he did have brazen borrower and uh, powder keg too. So I did say powder keg earlier on. So it's good to see when you guys are boarding. I mean needles are, needles a. Um, I don't even think some people are not even might. Not even bring in lightning bolts and stuff like that. Like, you could do either or here. You could be like, all right, well, I'm going to keep, you know. The, the point, a lot of the point here is to win game ones with, with Shortcake. Is like, you know, the Enlightened Tutor package, the LED, the the fast turbo bullshit. It's like, it's just get game one. And then a lot of times Jack tells me he boards in the mono red, basically, games two and three. Um, but, you know, especially with a Wasteland deck like that, it's like, you know, you got to watch that. The Wasteland is the wild card with that deck. I feel like, even though it's not a big deal... It's one of those things where with the discard, then you can set up a little bit, work on getting something for like a target for like a Soul Guide Lantern. And the tempo loss from Wasteland, which is, you know, just a hit from a Wasteland, is just so good with this deck. It may not seem like much, but it's... Uh, and it's the same thing with the Rhinos deck, which is just like a pain in the balls because you just need that Saga where they never used to play that way, you know what I mean? Right, I'll be on the play. Good hands, please. See if I can't open with a good seven, finally. I mean, I'm going to keep this. Um, it's going to be a turn one Pyroblast to try to get a little some thangs off. I'll leave up Pyroblast. I'll hide my, my white. Um, so. At six cards here. See if he goes to five. I don't know what kind of... I, I know this kid's a blue guy. Um, so I'm not going to play out Grindstone. I make the kid think I'm Goblins or something for the first term. There's no rush. I mean, even if I drop... I mean, if I drop Painter, you guys can yell at me, but I'm not going to even play that way, so fuck it. I'm going to try to land a Moon. If I taste it, I might try. A little Ponder. And this could be... Um, does not shuffle, okay. So either or here... Um, so either or here it's like show and tell it's like do they play days or want to hold up double red for a red blast and if he does do show and tell I can put in bridge if it's not that case I can play out grindstone and hold up red blast if it's a delver deck I want to be able to protect this ensnaring bridge it's going to win me the game game one and what land do I start with now uh, I'm going to start with a plateau and I'll go with the grindstone here that's the way it's going to be. Okay, good. See if it's Delver or not. I want to protect the bridge, like I said. It's going to be a turn, turn three bridge here if it's Delver. Um, if it's show and tell, either way, I think I'm fine. I'll know I'll know what's up here, so it's a pass. I feel like it is a show and tell deck here, so I'm going to start with Urza Saga here. Or it could be just a four-color deck, so. Um, so I if it's... A four color deck, the Blood Moon would be great here. It's hard to tell what the hell this is. Um, now I could play out Lotus Petal and jam a Blood Moon and see how he feels. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. I know it's greedy. I'm going to do it anyway. See how he feels about this. Go to five card, four cards, four so well. If it's a Beans deck, it's just good. Uh, I'll see what he does with this. Maybe I shouldn't let him brainstorm there, but... Uh, We'll see. This takes away the sneak attack angle too, as far as ancient tomb, I guess. Um, I might get myself in some deep trouble here. <laughs> I took the greedy fucking psycho route because I always do when I see blood moons. The same thing all the time. I see blood moon get all fucked up. Okay, we didn't fetch out here. If it's a basic island, I think it's just tough for me. Okay. 
brainstorm for us. Well, I think it's worth. I mean, he knows I have a pyroblast, so and I guess even off a of show and tell here, yeah, I can put in bridge. You have two cards. Okay, pal. What do you got? What deck is this? Okay, so it's Delver. Right? He's got four cards. Takes him off blue, which is excellente. I'm going to do that. All right, so this bridge is going to save me in the game. I'm going to have to wait a couple turns in case I draw Pyroblast. I mean, he's at four cards now. I have Welders, though. Um, he saw what's on top of my library. I'm going to have to just wait till I draw another Red Blast here. Um, I'm going to jam this thing. Watch how I get myself in trouble. All right, got him. Woo! Close. <laughs> Close. And if I got Force of Will there, because that's the way these games go all the time, all the time, all the time. You should see these games I get with these guys. It's like literal prison. Like the, these Delver guys are just like, they'll, they'll wrap their fucking legs around you and choke you. It's like, you know, the, the cards they do and don't Force of Will and the games they play with you because they know what you're trying to do, it's crazy. But if that guy hit with a Force of Will... I mean, it would have might have been wise to maybe like wait a couple turns for a, a blast, but um, I always have welders there I can get in, so it's excellent. All right, so as far as I know, white cards come out here, and I'll just start. I'll bring in. I mean, I'm just gonna cut white cards here. I'll cut in. I mean, I'll, I'll just cut canvas. I'll cut lotus petals here. And he be, he basically tells me Jack tells me he boards into like mono red here, so I have, I have six cards to bring in. I know I've seen him bring in Surgical, too. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but if you take a Lightning Bolt out of that deck, it's pretty cool, so you try it. Creative Maker's a bomb. All right, we'll try it like this. I know maybe even Mox Opal can go or whatever else. I just... Uh, we'll try it like this. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I'm gonna mull this. If this was like another lightning bolt or a pyroblast, I'd be more apt to keep it, but it's not. To try to get greedy, but. This hand's fine, and I'll just get rid of Dragon Engine, I guess. I have one land, though. I'm not even gonna fret. I'm just gonna fucking keep it. It's gonna happen. F6, pal. You know, DRC or a Dragon's Reach. And what happened to the turn one ponders we used to get? <laughs> Fucking guys, just insane. I mean, I, I have no room to be, like, cagey here. You find, like, a second land drop. I feel like I just got to jam my cards into dazes and shit. I hate feeding this this deck because it gets more scries. It gets more, like, you know, everything. So I'm not even going to fuck. I'm just going gonna, just gonna, gonna to play like this. I feel like a child playing like this, but it's the way it's going to be. Untap, bolt, scry, you know... It feeds this card, which is really good. I mean, you only got four cards now, which is pretty neat. Um, I was a Bowmaster. So he's on Grixis, which is pretty cool. I'm going to block right this fucking second. I'm blocking. Take that trade all day. You have another one? Okay. Better than a Bowmaster. Okay, where's my Fury? That's a good draw. Uh, play it. I'm gonna use my mana. If I get dazed here, it sucks. I mean, I know I know better, but if I get dazed here, it's I'm gonna um I'm gonna go heavy on some shit here. Um, go for a dragon engine, I guess. We'll start with this. Get around surgical start, and then I mean, I could have gone for a, um, a bridge there, or whatever, or a grind or painter. I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna do combo pieces in my yard today like that, but um, okay. So I can't block because of bowmaster. I'd like to, but I can't. You know, um, but it'd be a bridge for the future.
you know, bolt that thing and check it out. You got it. You got two cards now, probably has a force of will. No wasteland yet, or is he going to put that down in the second main phase? Okay, that's cool. Land! Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, I'll start with Painter here. See what he does. I can hold up Blast here, too. Blue, and I'll play out. Either way, I get days. I'd rather have you know. I'd rather have two creatures on board here. So, <laughs> okay, looks good. Unless he has a fucking wasteland. Um, flips you do? No flip. No. A lightning bolt. Cool. What do you got? You gonna brainstorm first, pal? Gonna have to. What do you got? It's a double hit. Painter grindstone. Picture that goblin well there with a fucking ball bearing on his fucking nuts going like this the whole time. That's all he does. One mana, one one. Like this. Welds. I don't know. What do I know? You gotta find Wasteland. You know that. Do you have a Brainstorm or a Ponder? Because I'm, I'm not going to block either, so. You have a Stifle? These guys play Stifle too, I guess. <laughs> But he got man. He needs one more mana. I feel like he needs one more mana to make himself happy. He doesn't have it though. It's like damn, for a fucking land to be done. Maybe not. Who knows? So you have a lightning bolt and two unknowns. I am going to activate grindstone. I fucking promise you, dude. I swear to God, it's gonna happen. Um. So okay, you have a lightning bolt starting where? On my welder trigger. You got it. Attack me here. Okay. I need a land drop. Be excellent here. Give me a land, please, God. Land, please, God. Please, thank you. Ah. Yeah, I'm just gonna get. A, I'm just gonna get a grindstone here. Let's see what he has. All right, God. I'm good games. GG's, buddy. Good games. <laughs> I love the behavior mannerisms when a guy just, like, fucking runs out of steam. He's just looking at the screen like, fuck, I can't kill him. I can't kill this guy. I can't kill the painter. He's going to mill me. Fucking shit's going to pop off. My life's going to fucking end. You know, I need to go get a coffee or a fucking lunch after this one. And, like, the, the whole, like, grieving process for, like, the, the first, like, 30 seconds when you realize, just like me, I grieve, too. It's like... But I, but I I immediately concede, you know what I mean? Some guys will look at the screen and say maybe he misclicks or maybe this happens or maybe that happens, but I don't know. It's kinda cool. I like to experience that. It's kind of a spiritual event when you like when you're grieving with somebody, when you know they can't handle what's going on and you have a nice painter, what goblin welder out. Um, and you know, it's a beautiful event. It's almost like it's a I don't know, kind of a soothing, you know, medicinal thing for me anyway. To say the least. How's my mic doing? Do you like my mic? Just tell me. So we got the deck here. So far, we've done okay with it, I guess. Um, Blood Moon's been pretty good, right? I mean, I was against Delver. Better than a Magus of the Moon, I'll tell you that. I've never really boarded it in Magus of the Moon. Blood Moons versus Goblin, uh, uh, Delver. Even Grixis Delver, I don't even bother. Because I've had times where I've had Blood Moon out, and they've pecked in with a with with the red cards. Like they've just kept lightning bolts. That's really all that really matters. But like Force of Will lightning bolts and had like a DRC and just been able to peck in, you know. So a lot of the appeal with me with Blue Red Delver when I was playing it was a one basic island that you could run or two. I think it was two basic islands in the deck, and that was an appeal to me, um, you know. So, but now I mean that was years ago, but not now. So. Um, what else can we talk about? Two City of Traders, LED, Enlightened Two, like I said, two copies. Um, seven Blasts and three Simeon Spirit Guides. The deck is tuned. Um, it's looking to combo. It's looking to be fast. Looking to tap a grindstone. Looking to protect. Looking to really, on turn five, turn four, by keeping a keen eye on the opponent and watching how they're playing with like two mana up. There's no way they can handle a fucking, you know... A grindstone with like triple blast or double blast or the extra simian spirit guide for the extra piece of like you know 
extra whatever it is to kind of like, you know, keep up with the uh, bullshit, as some would say. So, what's this called? Warlock, Warlock of what? Of the coast? Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand, I think, or maybe not. I have no white. This is a null card, and I have no red. <laughs> And I'm over here saying I want to keep it. Now, mark my words as we go into this match. Um, I can tell by the, I can already tell the vibe this kid's giving off. It's not going to be anything, like, fucking cool. It's going to be something like Mono Black or a fucking another reanimated deck. I don't know. Um, but this could be good enough. And um, I'm over here going to mull it. So I'm still going to mull it. Keep this, though. Um... And I might just have to be Lotus Petal here, even though I'd rather it not. But because I have hit an interaction here, this is kind of like a Force of Will. Now, what decks do I care about that will do something crazy like that? I still think it's this card. Oh, is it fucking Painter? Oops. Watch me get smoked. Smoked! <laughs> I was over here talking a little smack, which I shouldn't have. My hand's junk, too, for the mirror. What's he playing with? Soul Cauldron? No, what do you got? A Fable? Or is this just Goblins? Oh, it's a three ball? That's pretty cool. Um, so I need a paint there. Let's see what you got. Four cards in hand, pal? I'm going all in Goblin Welder here. Uh, I can get a Dragon Engine too, but we'll see. So I need to I need to find... Um, I just get Painter here, right? I mean, I have to sack my grindstone for a dragon engine, and he needs a fury. I'm gonna get paint there. Fuck it, go deep. You guys can yell at me later. Watch me lose because of that decision. I mean, I could have just picked off a stone there and just gone a little heavier, but especially with a three ball like this, if I draw like an ancient tomb or if I draw, you know, a land, it's really good. You have to fury here, right? And I don't have a third land drop, so I'm kind of fucked. So I, I did tell you guys it was something fucked up, though, right? Like a mono red prison deck, and that falls under the same category as you know. You got a rabble master, or is this a chalice on one? Oh, you got a fury. Okay, that's cool. Gotcha. Would you pick off, bro? Shatter skull smashing. Okay, cool. Land, please. Go. <clears throat> Okay, that's a good card here. I have to go for this play here. I'll go for my original plan here. Get a, a Drizag and see what you find. Another Fury or something here, you know. That's going to kill me. Oh, we're going to search to Fable. See what happens. Oh, I love this guy. It's so fun. What'd you find? Did you pitch? You pitched two cards. All right. Did you find that land drop? He's like doing the math. It's like two, three, four, and then plus a land drop is five. That's Fury mana. I can't beat the Fury if he's got another one. Watch how fast he taps. Watch how fast that City of Trader gets hit. Watch. 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 Oh, he killed it? All right. Um, go. <laughs> I haven't seen Karn in all my games yet. So you got, you know, attack me. If I don't draw a lane, I'll just concede next time. This kid's fucking freaking out. They got helmets on these guys? I don't know. It's kind of rude, but kind of what I wanted to say, so I'm going to say it. Land. I can't even cast that bitch. I'm at 16 and at three cards. I'm just going to concede. I'm not going to put you guys through this. I can't even cast the fucking thing. I can't even play it. I have to pay three for the goddamn thing. God bless. All right. So. So the kid comes straight from. This kid comes straight from modern fucking decks. You know what I mean? Been playing. I don't know what's going on in modern right now. But. Oh, I'm going to give Legacy a shot. I, what deck should I play? Oh, I really like casting Chalice of the Void. I'm kidding around. Half. Kidding around. Um, now, 
I can completely, I can tell you right now, this is the same psychology as a guy that's going to bring an Emrakul. But I don't think he, he knows enough to bring an Emrakul or even has it in his sideboard. But if he did, like if he was playing enough Legacy, I think he would definitely bring an Emrakul. So I'm going to cut this card anyway. Um, and I do like Karn to kill Chalice. He'll bring that in. Blood Moon's bad. Candace is kind of bad. Um, and I have two cuts, two cards. I'll bring in, cut one of those, and I'll cut one of these, and I'll bring in some Lightning Bolts, I guess. I mean, I know this goes on a Chalice to avoid. It's really bad, but um, Portable Hole is pretty good, too, to get a Chalice. Because um, you can bin an Engineer, bin a Portable Hole through Engineer, and then whack a, whack a Chalice. Um, but that being said, I have my third copy of Karn here, so I kind of like that. And I could use I could use Blast aggressively here, which is pretty cool. I know he has Trinisphere, so there might be a reason to cut Lotus Petal here or two. Uh, how about I bring in a Grindstone and fuck this kid over a little bit? And, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I'll bring in a Lightning Tutor, too. I, kinda, I don't mind this. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have brought that grindstone in. I, I think under a chalice of it's bad, but I also want to be able to play one turn one and then go from there. So, hope we'll try it. Still boarding. He's still looking at the card. It's like, oh, well, Trinisphere is really good against him, isn't it? I saw that he could, but he plays Ancient Tomb, and doesn't he play Ancient Tomb? Yeah, he does. Um, you know. I love it. I told you guys I knew the kid that made this deck. I played with him for years. He was great. He was the only kid playing this deck with like Siege Gang Commander, Stink Scourger. This isn't like the, the infant stages of this deck. You know, and then like, you know, he had the whole thing foiled out. This is in like War of the... No, this was in... Um, what was that uh, set with all the God Pharaoh statue, all that shit? And, um, it, you know, once, once you know, the War Boss came out, once like, you know, he always had Rabble Master in it. You know, it was always a Chalice deck. It was always a, you know, Fiery Confluence deck. It was always a... And I think one kid did really well with it on a GP overseas. Probably seven years ago. And after that, it blew up, so... But this is legacy to people now. It's more Red Prison. It's a deck. I mean, it used to be a fringe deck. But now, it's what kids love. Blood Moons and Chalice and Trinospheres. Which is they're fine. I personally feel dirty playing it like that. It's a good it's a good way to play. But, I mean, I mean I'm a prison guy, too. I could do that. But, all right, here we go. Ancient Tomb, Mountain, Urza Saga, Goblin Welder, Painter, and I'll take a Karn. Please. Please, thank you. Um, this hand's fucking good enough. This hand's good for me. I can win on the spot with LED here. <laughs> so like, I'm going to play a turn one engineer, turn two engineer and get grindstone in my graveyard. And then I can go from there. So let's see how this goes. It kind of tests my ability to, uh, to use shenanigans correctly. Cause LED is kind of a shenanigan card kind of thing. It's, it's like a busted magic card. But so if I go engineer into grindstone and I can untap, play a third land, well, though, for Fernacci for a grindstone, and then come in with a you know painter LED on the stack here. So there's no reason not to start with the Great Furnace, or is there? Um, I mean, he could play Fiery Confluence. Blood Moon doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna have an artifact regardless. If I if I draw Ancient Tomb, does it affect me? It might. So I'll start with this and go. <clears throat> So if I drew Ancient Tomb there, my artifact would be null. So I kind of want to get the artifact on board here a little bit. Tap that thing. Thank you. I'm going to have to play out LED, right? Like, is that the way it works here? <laughs> Fucking paint it. <laughs> See how good he is. Um, he's not going to worry about... You know, if I play out Engineer, he has six cards. I feel like he has a turn two, like Fable or something. I need to draw a land. Now, do I play out this Lion's Eye Diamond? I think I do because of Trinosphere. Fuck it. This could be the make or break situation here, me playing the LED. Now, it's giving him his ears are pricking up. He's like, oh, what's going on? 
Okay, so. Need a land drop here. Um. Yeah, so if I play, if I tap that for a red, bring in Grindstone, sack LED for three red, I can win here, right? I almost missed that because I'm fucking brain dead. So I bring in Grindstone, comes in, and then I discard my hand, get Painter in the yard, and then I bring back with, yeah, okay, so, sorry guys. Yeah. No, I can't do that. No. I can't, almost like, I'm fucking bugging. I sack three red, get Painter in my yard. I can't really do that. So if I get grindstone and end step, I can do that. Yeah, I'll have to wait a turn here. If he doesn't kill, yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'll do. I'll wait a turn. <laughs> I hope I hope I'm fucking this up a little bit. So, yeah, so I can play paid through either way and then just win here. So, so what I could have done there was I could have um, just sacked LED the one mana and then just welded in grindstone there. So if I just play Painter, I win. So I have plans on doing that anyway. So it's Painter plus three red is just. Kinesis, okay. I forgot about Kinesis. You got two cards now? Okay. So, what happens here? Okay, cool. Uh, good game. Hope I didn't blow that out. Uh, I can see. Fucked up. I forgot about Kinesis. I wasn't even thinking of that card. Yeah, I should have waited a turn. My fault. Alright, let's go to the next one. I'm going to get yelled at for that one, too. It's alright. I'm a little rusty. I had my head down a little bit. I was thinking too hard about the whole like swapping back and forth, so I don't know, we'll see. I have to watch that video too. Might be. So if I had played Painter and not done anything, I could have gone to his turn, see what he did, and then the next turn I could have just untapped and just done the same thing and won. Um, so I could have welded back Painter, I guess, with it on the stack. So it was probably, it was right to wait a turn, and I didn't wait a turn, so whatever. I know better. Still fuck up a little bit every now and then. We'll see. You guys recorded it. So.
Okay, we don't play. Um, try it. Should have waited a turn, it was my fault. Anyway. I mean I guess even with like a I mean he had bombardiers too. I don't think I could have done well with that. Let's see what's up here. Okay. I'll just get a painter here. Remind a Karn here. Okay. Can't play that yet. I'll just play Painter here. I'll leave my. I pedal out of this, I guess, just because of Karn. He has his own Karn, so. Okay, so what do you get with one of those like gem things that um what's it called? The gems like this weird draw three cards when it comes in? Yeah, this card here. So you come it comes in, you draw three cards, right? Okay, and then what? More fast man to copy this thing ten more times. Okay, you copy that. I got it. Draw three more cards. So it's like no way you can lose here, right? They do play Emrakul in this deck, so they concede. Alright, enough. Enough. It's a cool deck. Fucking cool. Good job. Um, copy artifact. Transmit artifact. They'll bring in the Karn, I guess. Needle's good. Um, I have to keep in Graveyard Hate. I'll bring in Portable Hole. Um, Blood Moon's just kind of bad here. Cannon's kind of bad. 
Um, bridge you have to keep in because they bring in like I think they play like lodestone golem and shit like that, um, which means I don't even think I bring in lightning bolt. It's not even worth a card. Um, Creative maker is good, and I'll trim on something here. Keep all my fast mana. I'll cut the bridge. Try this. <clears throat> I I have to see Karn opening seven. I haven't seen Karn once this whole match, this whole league. Sounds good though. <laughs> Keep this. I think he has Emrakul in his deck. I might have to look for a... Um... So if I go Grindstone, Upkeep, get... I'm just gonna start with the grindstone there. I don't wanna think. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> so if I upkeep get uh let's see how this goes. I need to get a I think I need to get a um Soul Guide Lantern and see if I can find the time to do that. fuck up. I think I did. <laughs> I think I fucked up. Again, I'm not doing the math correctly. I think I need to get Soul Guide Lantern. I keep saying this and I think I'll still do that though. We'll see. We'll see if I don't need it. We'll see if I don't need it. I know he has a fucking Emrakul in his deck. He must. He does. Okay, I knew he had it. Um, that's why he hit my welder. I don't even care what's in his deck. He's got a bunch of copies, one rings and shit like that, so. Dismem There's a dismember in there, too, so. Um, let's see how this goes. I mean, he draws two cards, right, with this? <laughs> it's three mana? Okay. I'll attack. I knew he had Emrakul. I'm going to have to upkeep this, or end step Enlighten Tutor, and then resolve it. So I'll see if I can get through a turn. Lucky. Do you force the will? Oh shit. Alright. Thank you. 
I would have felt bad if I lost that game because I, I just should be winning these. and I'm not sequencing, I don't think, the best, and I'm just kind of like... I should have looked at his deck a little harder, too, and I'm just kind of going through the motions a little bit. Um, I think one Soul God Lantern's fine with the Tormod's Crypt for, for Karn, and then, um, I mean, he's drawing cards, right? Like, And just Candace isn't good enough. I'll try this again. Three-card combo now, I guess. If I could just get a Karn on... I haven't seen a Karn in any of my matches, so... Um, it's a mulligan, dude. Fuck you, dude. Go to five. I mean, I can't keep a fucking three, you know... Uh, I'm going to five. I'm not mulligan again. Like this. Like this. I mean, I guess I should have kept my first one with just LED and painter and all that stuff. I need to find Karn here, so... Let's go draw. I'll play a Lotus Petal. I'm going to have to use this on a blue card. Who knows? See if he has a... Um, see if he has something cool here. Is this his own Karn? Sure. <laughs> did I not bring a Needle? I think I did, right? So, Welder's really good, I guess. Play Painter. You go to three cards, four, so well. I'll leave up well there. So I need to find a Soul Guide Lantern at some point now. Engineer would be a great draw, and then land, so see how far it gets. This kid's going to try to work me over with his spells. Okay. Copy artifacts, all that bullshit. I think I, I think I fucking, I think I, I, I counter this, and I can weld it back out for the, for the thing here. You a fucking, what is this? A force of will? Sure. Flooded strand. Okay. You're playing great, buddy. Now what? Draw cards. Yeah. See, I can't weld anything from his graveyard now. Okay, so you get that. I don't know if I want to bring in Lotus Petal here. I don't think I do. <sighs> He's going to win next turn. Uh, what does he put in his graveyard? attack him. I think every point matters here. So how does he win with Emrakul? How, what's his win con? Like a bunch of guys? I'm going to make him go through it then. Go to six here. <laughs> I'm going to make a creature and then have six for the rest of the game, so... I'll make it easy for myself. <laughs> it's all right here, buddy. Don't fucking lose this game on me, because if you do, it's going to be sad if you lose this game. Sad. Just like sad I lost last match. Sad.
Can you kill me this turn? You're at two. You have to play another ring, right? What are you copying? That thing? Sure. Oh. Fucking feel bad. Good games. I think he's a painter guy too in the uh, Discord. What's up, buddy? I don't know who you are, but I've played against you plenty of times. I think you're a cool shit. And I kind of feel bad you lost that because you deserve to win it. And I'm just like, I deserve to win last match and I fucked it all up. I think I fucked it completely up and I'm okay. I'll get yelled at later. Jack will be like, he'll send me a screenshot. Like, what the fuck did you just do? That's what I'll get. A screenshot. Just a screenshot. You know? He'll be like, what happened here? I'm like, fuck you. Dude, I'm bugging out. I don't know what do you want. I'm fucking sweating. I'm hot. You know, my fish tank's fucking looking at me. I got a new microphone, the fucking snowball. I got fucking this, that, the other thing. You know, we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe I did okay. I don't know yet. Hopefully I passed. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's different lines with all the LED bullshit. You know, I'm not... You know, when, when guys see cards like that, and I want to get better with it, it's just boom, 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 boom. And I should be by the amount of time I play with the deck, but it's at the same time. It's like, so I had two mana engineer. That turn I drew painter again. I could have, you know, furnace welded in grindstone and still had... I, I still... Yeah. Uh, we'll keep this hands pretty good. First time I get to see Karn. This guy's usually on a really fair deck, which is going to be cool. And I have some good action here, so I have things to do here. Kind of cool to see Blood Moon pop up every now and then. Going to pass, buddy? No, no grief or any of that garbage? You're not on that stuff anymore? That's too bad. You got to be, because I'm noticing a trend. All these guys, all these really good blue players, there's so many of them. They've always gone from like Just Guy Control, Four Color Euro decks, nice, beautiful control decks. And it's funny because you tend to see a trend in which guys switch over to like the Black Grief decks or Blue Black Troll decks. And it's always a select few of them, you know. Um, so play out, what, what if. Uh, it's always the same. Which one of you guys want to cast grief? You know, who wants to fucking reanimate this and do all this crazy shit? It doesn't do it for me. And I tell you guys all the time, I'm a blue guy at heart for the most part. You know what I mean? And, um... Okay, so it's a troll deck. And it just doesn't excite me. Like, when, when Ragavan came out and everybody was playing Ragavan that was playing Delver, the card's cool, but just I couldn't play it because everybody else was playing it. You know, I just, I lost complete interest in the fucking thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, and it's like, even with like the Beanstalk decks, I'd probably play a Beanstalk deck if I was to play a control deck or a four color deck. You know what I mean? What the fuck do I do here? <laughs> I gotta make a move. I think Ensnaring Bridge is it, too. Fuck it. I'll start with the fetch land. Just because, um, I don't want to get discarded. And I have real no way of... It could be a Blood Moon, but he can still discard me. Oh, fuck it. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to make a move here somewhere. I have a Force of Will plus Daze here. Or I have a Daze and a Force of Will, so that's pretty cool. It's another, it's another monkey play by me. It's like forcing your stuff into like counter spells and like... Oh, here it is. Like You used to be able to do this quite often, frequently, like days past. But here I am just like... Oh, that resolve. That's pretty sweet. So you have a brazen bar, it looks like. That's cool. I mean, worst case scenario. I still need to dump my hand. And what's that thing? A 6-5, right? Now, Red Blast is a... Is a... Is a is a um, fuck you, dude. You have five cards? Fuck you. You gonna daze me? Okay, Force of Will. Go three cards. And then I get that back. Okay, so see, I need a grief. You go to one card with a grief. I need a wasteland's really good. That's pretty cool. Okay, kids playing some tight magic today. This is this is the game. It's good. Tomb City. Another Karn. Probably the worst fucking draw on my deck. I'm telling you, LED probably would, would have been the worst. Um, LED. What else could have been the worst draw? Maybe Red Blast. The worst draws. Any cantrip. <coughs> excuse me. Any cantrip. I'll whack here. I know I could save this for the other petty theft these guys run, but I mean, at this point I need to draw. I need to fucking find land drops. 
and daze me. Okay. I suggest you hold that daze. You gonna come in, attack me. Oh, you attacking me, Lance? All right, I can see. Again, I tried. Another sweaty blue guy, and I like blue decks, but this kid. You know, it's like I, I won't say much. I can't say much. It's a good deck. It's a good deck. I mean, I'm not saying it's not. It's just. I mean, I. I I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's goofball. Um, all right, so what do we have? Troll. What do I got to bring in here? So what do I do? I'm going to bring in some lightning bolts because that void walkers are paying the nuts. I'll cut one tutor. I think Blood Moon's fine. Khan's good. I have one more cut. Um, what am I doing now? So Soul Guy, I think, is good. I'll cut one blast. Bolt and lightning tutor can. There's Crater Maker because of Powder Keg. Remember I was talking about Powder Keg? In the last match. So I blasted good. And I have two bolts. I don't have any surgicals yet. So let me um let me cut the recruiters. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna bring it in for surgical. Um let's try this. I'll be, I'll be on the play. Good luck, please. Thank you, God. Come on, hit me. Ah, his fucking hand. I mean, I can't keep this hand. Some guys might. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, this hand's good too, right? Look at these beauties. Um, I'm just gonna make land drops here. Fuck this. Um... I'll start with this, make them waste me, I guess, right? I'm not even going to think I'm just going to play these cards out. I guess you got to kind of play like this sometimes, where it's like, oh, here we go, here we go, answer it, take it. I mean, how strategic can I play? I mean, I really can't play too strategic with what I have. Like, it's just like, here you go. I can't not play it because I'll get discarded. Now I have all lands in my hand. Maybe I should have kept the Steamy Spirit Guide. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> It's like, either way, it's like even without this card, I'm just going to keep playing my cards, you know. It's like the way Shortcake gets sometimes. It's like, you know, and then a Wasteland, that's fine. So you know my whole hand, he's still going to waste me, which is fine. You know, Surgical something here? No? Okay. There it is. Another Simeon Spirit Guide. Maybe he can discard me again. I'll play that thing too, on two. Maybe I'll draw another Simeon Spirit Guide to pay for the first one I'm hard casting. We'll see. Just like the other game, I drew four lands in a row. I think I still won that game, and I was crying the whole time. <laughs> That's a good draw. You want to fucking daze that? Hold on. But he has a bow master, right? Bow master, man. I get a bow master for you. I just need one more turn. I can daze it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what do you got? You know, daze it. Come on, I'm coming in too. I'm gonna come in for one. Nice, smooth. He's gonna come in. You know, we're gonna take it. We're gonna watch that 19 become an 18. What? Do I, is there a reason? To <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm all strung out. I think it was the Goblins kid, the fucking red deck. All oh, fucked me up. LED fucked me all up. I'm all fucked up, always. Oh, it comes a troll. Okay. We can't cast Bowmaster now. And it's a shame he came and blocked this guy, because I'd say I want to draw more cards out of the graveyard, but it comes to reanimate. Reanimate it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, is it a bow master first? Oh, it's a void walker. Make sure that you can't do anything. Oh, that's a nice draw too. Um, we'll come in for. Uh, I'll come in nice real quick. So I brought those lightning bolts in. Uh, just imagine me not having them. Get low, get low, get low. Uh oh, is he gonna shit himself when he sees this card? Jack tells me he gets a lot of wins with this guy, the Simeon Spirit Guide beats. And they do, and we do. I do too. Like, you know, it's happened more or less, less frequently now, but, you know, with Imperial Recruiters out and shit like that, you know. You coming in, pal? Nice, kid. Nice move. I like that. Nice sequence. Smooth transactions coming up. Now, always get a Bowmaster. I'm still going to attack you. And you can try to you can reanimate my dragon engine too, I guess. 
and try to draw cards and be cute. You know what I mean? Comes a Bowmaster. What's this? This is legacy magic right now, guys. Don't forget. Is he going to bounce something? And then force the will it? Okay. That sounds cool. Take three, kid. You know, Fatal push something? Oh, he's going to Hydro Blast that. Okay. You got two cards left. I go to eight here. I think I have to save my life. You can cast the, uh, right? You can cast the Simeon Spirit Guide, right? I might have to do that, kid. I might have to cast that bitch. You gonna sack it? No, no sacks. You get another Brazen Borrower? You gonna cast, hard cast Brazen Borrower? Um, start. So I go to six here, and I die? That's a fucking shame. Let's see what he has. Four, five. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so bad. He's at, I'm at seven, right? Go ahead. I gotta draw a lightning bolt, looks like maybe. I gotta fake something out here. Yep. Four, five, I bring him to I bring him to one now. Okay. I'll attack him. I need a lightning bolt there. It didn't matter. Am I missing something? I don't think I am, right? I can't kill these guys. It's kind of a sad game. Let's see what he has. Another Bowmaster? No. Okay, GG's. Good league. Um, I think this loss here was kind of a shame in my Goblins match. I got to look back and see how he fucked that one up. I don't think I... I mean, I could have waited a turn, got around Pyrokinesis. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, as far as, like, you know, the lines... I mean, as far as, like, Pyrokinesis goes in general, if I had waited a turn, played Painter with LED on the stack... Um, on the board like that, and then... Um, been able to untap, I could have sacked the LED... To grind him and then with a pyrokinesis on painter i could have re-welded painter that he's kinesis kinesis can pyrokinesis pyroing and then welding the other painter so all i had to do was wait a turn there and um getting kind of hasty with that but there is some promise there you guys see how led works um the deck is good and i enjoy playing i want to play a little more with it and get better with it uh, again give a shout out to jack um a heads up player painter and um call him the godfather i guess so if you guys haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. I like to meme around and have fun. I still haven't got my bombers in the mail yet. Still waiting for those in my Soul Cauldrons too. Uh, but hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I love you guys. Be safe and I'll catch you guys next time.